So you had one and I had one. Uh, we'll go with mine first. Um, and mine was very much brought up in the comment section, at least the ones that I read prior to the show, uh, which, by the way, it's awesome that we get so many comments before the show even begins. Um, but mine's Avery Davis. And I, I really do think, and I, and I know that you believe that, that Michael Mayer is going to be the alpha in the past game, and I don't disagree with you. Uh, but I, excuse me, I do think that Avery Davis could be the number one wide receiver uh, mm -hmm. when it's all said and done. And uh, again, Michael Mayer is going to be the alpha in the pass game, but you know who's going to be that alpha in the in the wide receiver room? And I, I do think that that's going to be Avery Davis from a from a leadership standpoint. I think that he is going to be you know a first option a lot of the time. Um, I, I think he's got the ability to be that first option. I think he got open a lot more than he was utilized in last year. Uh, I think he's really coming into his own as far as running routes, understanding where those openings are in, you know, the, in the zone and, and things of that nature. He's he's really becoming a wide receiver. And, and again, and I know that I'm maybe beating a dead horse here, but this is like his fourth position. Mm -hmm. So it takes a little while. To he's not get your the typical nuances. fifth year receiver, right? Right. I mean, he, exactly. He, he, he's really kind of been a receiver. This will be a, he's essentially he's like a junior as a wide receiver, yes, which is when. At Notre Dame, right. most of the receivers break out, right? right. So um, I think we're going to see that with Avery Davis. I think he is going to have a heck of a year. Now, of course, I would love to see him in like a wildcat. I saw some guys discussing that. I think that would be a lot of fun. I'm talking about Avery Davis. Have we Davis. brought that up in the show before? Maybe just know. a couple times, you know? Um, but I'm talking about him just straight up yeah. wide receiver. You know, as a slot receiver. Around, as a slot yeah. receiver, putting him in motion. Yeah, you can run a reverse. You can do all, things of that nature. Uh, but just running routes, being that guy up the middle, because I do think they are going to attack the seam, attack the middle of the field a little bit more often, especially with Michael Mayer. And I think Avery Davis could really benefit from that as well. So Vince, I have a question for you about Avery. And okay. again, you you know I you know I love that pick, right? And I, I I've I've been beating the Avery Davis drum for a while, as have sure. you. And so I like your pick, but I do have a question for you. We talk about breakout players. Avery had 24 catches last year for 322 yards, two touchdowns, had three carries for 57 yards. When you kind of in your crystal ball, like what would a breakout season for him look like to where you would feel at the end of the year, you look forward and you kind of glimpse in the future and say, it this is going to be what that breakout looks like. What would it make for what would it be for you to feel like, yes, he did in fact break? I mean, obviously. You could say stats don't matter because he could he could have similar do, numbers though. last year, but he has a bunch of impact plays. Sure. But you know, let's just say it's a it's also stats are part of it, and and we're it's a, an all encompassing breakout. What would that look like for you, numbers wise? Well, I think I think he's going to have forty plus catches. Okay, uh, I, I do. I, I think he's going to be in the forty that's almost range. Almost double. That's a that's yes. definitely a good jump. That's yeah, I, I think job. he's going to be because he what twenty four last year. Yeah. I think is what you said. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think he could easily get up to forty. Uh, and I think they're going to throw it a lot more this year too. I and do. they played one fewer game, so that so that that'll add factor into where it's not quite the 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 oh wow double his numbers that you're talking about. I mean, it's, right? There's going to be more opportunities too. Well, and, and I think you know he, what do you say? He had three three uh, carries. Uh, I think that could go up a little bit, maybe by you know four or five. I could see yeah. him in the in the high single digits. Yeah, you know, um, and I think he could be a weapon in the in the red zone. So you could mm -hmm. see those that touchdown number go up as well. Uh, but I think from a catch standpoint, I think he'll be I think whatever number. I think the number will start with a four, whether that's yeah. low forties. You know, depending on how things go in the season and and how teams react to Avery Davis. Mm -hmm. I think what what will benefit Avery Davis is there's other options on this offense. Yeah. It's not he's not going to be the only target. And right? no one's going to be keen on Avery Davis in the first right. two or three games of the year. Exactly. And that's exactly. where I think a big part of his production is going I think a big part of his production is going to come from the in the first four or five games. Okay. Because Before and the reason realize, I say that, yeah. yes, and as younger players start to kind of get in the rotation, but I think as teams start to say, well, we got to stop 25 or 23 and we got to stop 80 87. I was going to say 89. I'm like, wait a minute, get the numbers right. 87. As teams start to focus on those two guys, I think that's where you could see Avery kind of have, I mean, five, six catches each in the first, you know, three, four games, you know, and that's all of a sudden he's getting up to 20 just like that. Right away, yeah. Right. And so, you know, will he continue that the entire season, which would get him to like over 60 catches? No, but I think, I think he'll still be a weapon, but I think that'll then 
he won't be catching as many balls in the second half, not because he's less a part of the offense, but because now people are now having to key on him, which is going to help the run game, which is going to help the tight end get more production, which is going to help the other receivers. Right. So, yeah. I, and, and, you know, Jack Cohn didn't have a lot of weapons like that at Wisconsin, and I think he's going to like that. I mean, his security blanket over the middle was often his his tight end or the check down. I think he's going to like having a guy like Avery Davis to throw mm-hmm. the ball to. And we saw that in the blue-gold game. I mean, we saw him. They connected five times. And they didn't even really play together a, a ton in the, in the fourth quarter. So I, I think he's going to really like that weapon. And I think Avery Davis also, Vince, to your point, is going to benefit from the the, the change in scheme because I think some of those catches are just going to be more of those RPO-type, screen-type deals, which we didn't see him make a ton of. And when he did get chances on those last year, I think in the pick game they threw an RPO to him. He caught it and made a couple guys miss, got like 15 yards. Right. So I think we'll see more of that stuff too. And I think – 